Hey everyone, it's Kelly here. Happy Tuesday. We are so excited to show you our flower challenge from last week, or I'm excited. I'm sure that the students were excited too. They did some fabulous work. And since we were doing the flower challenge, I thought I would show you this week one of the demonstrations or tutorials on how I created this cute little dandelion painting. This one's really quick, easy, makes for another great warm up. Uh, look for tomorrow. I'll be sharing everyone's flowers from, uh, from our classes and on Instagram and Facebook. So for today, let's go ahead and check out our dandelions using alcohol inks. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I have new videos every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you click that subscribe button and click the little bell and you'll never miss one. So I'm not sure if you remember that I got myself a calligraphy kit and I was so excited about it. And I am really no good at calligraphy. I'm horrible at writing and I'm horrible at calligraphy. <laughs> and I'm, I'm really trying. I've been trying to practice. It's just... You know how some things are your things and some things aren't and it's just not my thing I've never been a good writer so um I decided I would take my calligraphy pen and I was going to try to use it with masking fluid and I was pleasantly surprised at how wonderful it worked for drawing these sharp lines so I used one of the nibs it's a little bit thicker so it, it held the masking fluid in there and a couple of my students asked me you know Kelly how'd you clean that out how'd you get it without sticking all inside of your calligraphy pen and really the key is to make sure it stays wet so you can see I'll, I'll dip it a lot in here the masking fluid takes a you know a few minutes to dry so if you constantly are dipping it into your masking fluid and utilizing it it uh, it really only hardened up around the edges of my wooden pen and I was able to peel that off so as soon as I'm done this, and you may, you know, if it takes you a little bit longer to actually draw it out or sketch it out with, with the masking fluid, um, you may want to rinse that off in just some warm soapy water and then start again, dry it off and then, you know, add more masking fluid to it. But I'm, I'm doing this pretty quickly um, and I keep dipping it back in so I don't let it dry out. So I'm just making these little lines, all different sizes on each side. And then at the very ends there, I don't know if you've seen a dandelion close up, they had like just that little, um, little V at the end where the flower kind of blooms and it's got its little, I don't know, little, little puffiness, <laughs> I guess. Um, so I just put the little X's on the tops of them or little V's on the tops of a few of those. So you can see, it, you know, even dots, just something to, to give it the illusion that there's something else up there. And if you look at the top left hand corner of my screen, I had done another one that I, I actually cut those out. I'm going to work on maybe a, doing a collage with the flowers at some point. Uh, so I tried it with the blue and I'm trying it here again. I've got two of them and I'm going to try this one with, I meant to do just more pinks and yellows, but of course with the pink and the yellow with the alcohol ink combined. So I got more of an orange color. So I may be trying this again because I really think it's, a really fun and uh, easy way to create a, a simple little painting and flower. So uh, I plan on doing a couple other colors. And if you want to try some, I would love to see them. So go ahead and tag me on Instagram if you try some other other colors. Um, so I love seeing you guys. I'm so excited about this challenge that we just did. And you guys wait till tomorrow and see these flowers. These people, um, these people, <laughs> this group of wonderful women. Because I don't think I had any men do it. It's mostly women. Um, so uh, I'm going to say ladies. These ladies did these beautiful flowers. And um, they're so unique and also different. So it was pretty wild to see. And we have another um, another artist that um, creates these beautiful flower centers. Her name is Kimberly. And I'll put the link down here for her. She actually has a class on how to do these beautiful centers. And there's so many people taking them. And um, she, I don't know how she came up with it, but it's gorgeous. And, um, so I'm going to leave a link down here for that. So if you want to check out some of the uh, centers of the flowers, you'll be able to see that. So I'm going to put the top back on this masking fluid so it doesn't dry out. And then I'm rinsing off my calligraphy pan in some soapy water and I let this dry. Now I'm back with it all dry and I'm adding a little bit of the pinata extender on there because I want I was I want this to really blend in the background so um, I'm trying to add a little bit of the blending solution or the, the the extender on the back first 
to try it out, see if I can get it to stay wet a little bit longer and do a little bit more blending for that background. So I started off with the shell pink, which looks almost like peachy here. Really pretty. And then I'm going to blend that out a little bit so I can move it around so I can get it to the edge. And then I'm going to try uh, some pink as a wild plum, which is made by Ranger in the center of those flowers. Now these are basically a white flower, so it's really pretty with like blues and greens and yellows as well, but I wanted to do something a little bit different, so I'm trying the pink. And then I'm going to take my brush and just spread that out a little bit more. Going up on those lines that we created with the masking fluid. I mean, this looks like a cool flower, just like this with the masking fluid left on without the white on there. So now I'm going to try a little bit of the yellow. And you'll see here my yellow goes a little wild, mixes with that pink too much, and it really turns quite orange. But, you know, pinks and orange go to go well together. Yellow and pink go to well, go well together. So I'm okay with it. It's just not my normal normal color that I like to use. But it was it's pretty. I'm going to try to go back in with a little bit more pink because I felt it was just too yellow. And then I really got the orange. <laughs> you can see me. I'm blowing on it here. See if I could get that to move a little bit more. I don't really like the dots or the circles that it's making. So I'm just trying to blend that out a little bit more without interrupting most of that pink. And you can see on the bottom right, it's really moving because I have the extender on there and I've added more color to it. So... I'm going to drop a little bit more of that wild plum in there. And once again, spread that out a little bit more. So if you are brand new to my channel, this is the first video you've seen. Welcome, welcome. Um, and make sure you click that subscribe button and that little bell. So I actually have, I think it's over 60% of you actually get notifications when my new, my new videos post, which I'm really trying to continue that trend of doing the Tuesday videos every week for you. Um, you know, if it's worthwhile, then there's enough people watching it. So make sure that you're sharing these with your friends um, and, you know, liking it. I, they have really weird algorithms for for YouTube. So like if you don't comment on it, if you don't click the like button, um, it's not shown as much, I guess. So, you know, the whole pr pr purpose of this is so that people can see how I'm doing things. And I want you guys to play and learn and, you know, have fun with it. That's the great thing about YouTube because there's so much free content on here. Uh, but in order for us to do free content as, you know, as artists, it's um, we have to have lots of subscribers and um, there is a percentage, a small percentage. So when they watch um, ads and things like that, that's how we get paid as well as any affiliate links. So just so you know, so anything that you purchased, any of the stuff that I list down below and use my affiliate links, thank you so much because that just, you know, helps me continue making these videos for you. As I get a, just a little bit, a little bit of cash always helps and I can buy more, more products and more stuff and keep going with it. Um, and then, I, of course, I have my full online classes as well, and that's my other income, as well as going to the Jetport and uh, other places selling my art online and so on and so forth. So all that stuff really helps, so I'm not uh, a starving artist. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> um, all right, so we have all of this down here now. I'm letting it dry a little bit, and I, I, I'm, like, thinking that this looks really kind of cool if I could do some, like some paste or was it model model clay on here i'm trying to think i saw it on our alcoholic guard community someone was using something on there which causes texture but you leave it on the upo paper so it's not anything that you remove like the masking fluid because i can see a little bit of the texture in there so i think that's a kind of a neat look uh, but i'm going to dry this completely now and then we'll go back and we will pull off the masking fluid I'm going to throw a few dots in here first. I forgot I was going to do that just for a little bit of texture. I was trying to get rid of a little bit of that orange color. And I'm going back in with that shell pink. And it didn't work the first time. It's not really working the second time either. 
<laughs> I'm stubborn. I'm still trying it. I'm a Taurus. As a matter of fact, my birthday is coming up on Earth Day. And I'm going to tell you guys this because I feel like you know me. It's going to be my big 5 0. Oh, can you believe it? I can't believe it. I know for some of you, you're like, oh, you're so young. And then for others, others of you that are watching and are thinking, oh my gosh, she's so old. <laughs> but I still feel young. I think we all do, don't we? No matter how old we get. My mom says that to me all the time. I won't tell you how old she is, but she'd kill me. So I'm going to be quiet, but she doesn't look it. Let me tell you. I'm going to get her this summer. She's going to come up to the lake house and we're actually going to do some painting together. So I'm going to try to get her on YouTube so you guys can... <laughs> You guys can meet her. <laughs> we'll see if she allows it. All right. So throwing some dots in here, I'm going to dry this real quick and then we're going to pull a masking fluid off. We'll be right back. All right. So I'm back. It's all dry. I put a couple more dots of the pink in there. I think I like that oh, a little bit better. And so again, make sure that masking fluid is completely dry before you try to pull it off or else it will smear your alcohol inks. If it's nice and dry, it will be nice and crisp and very clean looking when you pull that tape off or the masking fluid off. And I'm just using my finger. They have um, a little tool that works really well. I use it mostly with my watercolors because it's a little bit tougher to pull off the masking fluid, but it comes right off so easy on the Yupo paper because it's that smooth surface. So there we have it. That is the finished piece. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And please remember to give it a like and a share. And we will see you guys. Actually, I'll see you tomorrow with our flower challenge results. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.